guys, this is Mara the Reading Hedgehog with my September uh, TBR. I'm being ambitious. I have a lot on my list. Um, we'll see how many I get through. I don't think I have many. Um, I have 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm planning on reading 17 books this month. I think that's what I plan on reading in August, actually, too. Uh, but we'll see. So some of these will look familiar because they're bleed-overs from my August TBR that I did not get to in August, so I've added them to my September one. And the first one on that list is The Minister's Daughter by Julia Hearn. This was the August pick from my TBR jar. Obviously, I didn't get to it, so I'm putting it on my September read, and hopefully I'll get to it so I can pick something else out for October. Because I do like doing my TBR jar. I also have All Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Uh, this also was on my August TBR, did not get around to it. So I plan on getting around to it next. It's a really thick book with super short chapters though, so I think I'll be able to get through it pretty quickly. We like The Night Circus. Then I also have City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, the second book in the Mortal Instruments series. Um, actually not as excited about reading this as I was before, but I'll still read it because I need to. Um, then I have All We Had by Andy Weatherwax. It's actually it's the next book I'm reading. This is an ARC. This book actually came out August 5th. I'm still going to read the ARC copy because I have it. Um, I may end up not finishing this one. We'll see. I just kind of get the feeling that this is not what I want to read right now, but we'll see. I'll give it a try. I also have The Tales of Victor Coachman by Bernie Reed. This is also an ARC. Actually, this might be a finished copy. In any case, it's a collection of short stories. I think it's technically adult, but we'll see. Um, probably read it, probably won't review it because I kind of decided not to review short story collections because they're just, they're kind of hard to do. Um, but we'll see. I'm still reading it. And I have policy of reviewing all the books I read except for classics. I also have Juliet's Nurse by Lois Levine. Another arc. This also came August 5th, so I am behind, but I still want to read it. I think this is technically adult as well, but it sounds interesting, so I'll read it. Okay, the next books I'm going to show you are brand new ones that are, if not, are not bleed-overs from any other TBRs. So the first one I have to show you is Wolf's Blood by Hazel West. This was sent to me by my dear friend Hazel West to read and review and enjoy, and I'm looking forward to it. love the feel of this cover. It's so buttery soft. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, kind of historical fantasy. It takes place in Roman-occupied Britain, and it's about werewolves. So it should be fun. I also intend on reading Spark by Anthea Sharp, the first book in the Fagard series. Uh, this was also given to me by the author. Um, she's a family friend. I told her I'd read it, and it's urban fantasy. Looking forward to reading it. Then I have Anna by Megan Riley, the first book in the Starseed series. This was sent to me by the author for review, and I'm looking forward to reading it. Then finally I have The Universe Builders by Steve LaBelle, also sent to me by the author for review. Also looking forward to reading this one. Um, he's very excited for me to read it, and so I will give it a shot. Then I have The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I bought this a while back when it came out and I'm just really dying to read it because it's so pretty and the author actually is from Oregon, semi-local. Uh, so yeah, I want to read it next. Next I have The Crown of Embers by Ray Carson, the second book in the Fire and Thorns trilogy. Um, trying to finish up some of the series I started and I decided I wanted to read this in August, didn't put on my TBR so I'm putting on this once, even though this TBR is already packed. Next I have The Maze Runner by James Dashner, the first book in the Maze Runner series. This will be a reread for me. It was a September pick for my Young Adult Bibliobabble Book Club because the movie comes out in September, so it'll be good to have a refresher. Really looking forward to rereading it. Um, I like rereads. Then I have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, another reread. This was the uh, September pick for my Classics for Classic Ladies Book Club, so I'm looking forward to rereading this one as well. Can't reread. Pride and Prejudice too much. Next I have Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern. This is another semi-new release. For some reason I've been dying to read it. It's a contemporary and I don't know, I just really, really want to read it. I told myself I'd read it this month, so I'm going to. 
Then I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, the second book in the Harry Potter series. I'm doing this thing where I'm reading a Harry Potter book a month. So, read the first one last month, reading this one this month. No further excuses. And then finally, and this is probably a book I'm not going to get around to, is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss. This is a collection of novellas for the Throne of Glass series. Um, I will be reviewing this because a collection of novellas and short stories are different, in my opinion. Um, but yes, all of these books I will be reviewing, just not in September because I'm taking a break from blogging. Um, but yeah, I decided it's finally time I've read this before I read Air of Fire, which is coming out... I think it comes out in September, maybe October. Or November. No, I think it's September. Um, anyway. So yeah, I, I need to read this so I can understand Selena's backstory, even though I don't like her. still need to read it. So those are all the books I'm planning on reading in September. Uh, I don't think I can pick up the whole stack, so I'm just going to pick up half of it. This is half. Sort of. Ish. But yes, I'm reading a lot. Let me know what you're planning on reading in September. I hope you have a great reading month, and I will see you later with... Probably in the next video I'll put up will be my September book haul. So I'll see you at the end of September. Bye.